They're the Kambini boys. They're the Kambini boys. They're the Kambini. They're the Kambini. They're the Kambini. They're the Kambini boys. Hey, Mike. Hey, Matt. How's it going? Well, not bad, Mike. You know, we were just. <laughs> I, was, I was just venting about the uh, toxic waste dump that is Twitter and how it ruins everything. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. yeah, it was good to commiserate with you on mm-hmm. the decline of our uh, mental health caused by the uh, ceaseless outrage on on Twitter. So, I don't know. I think I, I think I'm gonna check out for for a while. I think I got to get out of there, Mike. Yeah. Yeah. No, me too. I was actually just before we started, I just went to the bathroom. And so, hey, you know, oh, no. got some time. <laughs> hey, I'm open it up. <laughs> and I'm just start scrolling. And I'm just oh, like, what no. am I doing? Oh, my God. Yeah. What are we doing? Just what are we doing? So, yeah, I agree, Matt. Maybe in our listeners as well. Hey, if you if you're in there and you're doom scrolling or whatever they call it, just, just delete the damn app, you know, just delete it or don't delete it. Just, just, you know, um, just take some time off, you know, use your iPhone screen time thing, set an alert 30 minutes, no, 10 minutes a day. And, um, and then just, you know, lock yourself out of it. I think, um, you know, yeah, I think it would do us all some good to, uh, to spend a little less time on, on the internet time, right? There's so many things to do, you know, you go out, take a walk, swing the bat, you know, um, swing the bat. Yes. You know, go to the driving range, you oh, know, absolutely. Uh, bake a cake. You know, there's a lot to do. Make crab rangoon. Crab rangoon. That sounds damn good. It was good. All right. <laughs> All, right. All right. Let's jump in to some <clears throat> fun times, Mike. Yeah. As usual. A lot of conveni news out this week. Mm-hmm. Let's get started. All right, let's do it, Matt. So this week, what do we got? We got some fun things going on. One thing that stuck out to us was, Matt, at 7-Eleven, they're having an Okinawa fair, Matt. Um, sure are. And if you remember, a couple weeks ago, we, we actually saw a Kyushu fair out of 7-Eleven. I like how they're doing this sure thing do. where they're go into, you know, different areas of Japan and, and picking them up. And, uh, you know, as they call it, they're, they're going on the 7-Eleven, you know, trip kibun. You know, they're going on, they're, they're feeling like they're, they're, they're on a trip. So Matt, um, oh God, and I can't even share my screen. Do I have a setting? I got a, ch- oh God. Damn it! Is it gonna make me? Oh, you got a new on. computer. You got to provide. I got a new You got to give it access to. Quit and reopen. Your Here laptop. we go. Yeah, I'll be back in in just Alrighty. a second. Oh, yep. Jesus Christ! Sorry, man. Okay, I'm coming Sorry, back. Everybody, Mike needs to restart so he can allow Zoom to surveil yeah. everything he does <laughs> on his laptop. All right, man. I'll be back. Please. Okay, here we are, Matt. We're we're in Okinawa. We're at Seven Eleven. We're in Okinawa, and Matt, what do we got here? We got a lot of interesting items here. Let me let me show you the sorts of things that we're looking at from 7-Eleven's Okinawa trip to Okinawa. And first off, Matt, we've got the brown sugar roll cake. Looks delicious. We've got the brown sugar melon pan with kinako cream. Also looks damn good. We've got the warabi mochi. And that's got the brown sugar on it, Matt. We've got the brown sugar crepe. <laughs> We've got the brown sugar <laughs> milk that's France, a stretch, French that bread. Yeah, this what is that? That's, some, that's a baguette with some brown sugar paste. Um, looks like we have some um, some brown sugar andaki sata andagi. I don't exactly remember those. I think like it's in the Okinawan balls. thing. Balls. Dough balls. We, dough balls. And then Matt, we've also got some hand testicles. If people have been following that trend on Twitter, I don't know. <laughs> and then it looks like we've got some um, uh, some cafe lattes with some brown sugar, brown sugar syrup, milk, Matt. Yes, yeah, syrup. Um, okay, Matt. Uh, any thoughts on um, this this selection of items you're seeing out of the Okinawa Seven Eleven fair? 
out of all the things you could feature about Okinawa, <clears throat> why brown sugar? You know, Mike, I think mm-hmm. this was maybe a procurement error mm-hmm. turned into an opportunity. You know, I think mm-hmm. some guy went to place the weekly order for brown sugar, meant mm-hmm. to buy like 40 pounds instead bought 4,000 pounds of brown sugar (laughs) shows up at the at the landing dock Mm -hmm. and oh boy now we got to scramble here what are we going to do everybody (laughs) okinawa they do they do have a lot of brown sugar stuff in okinawa it's true true. but they have a lot of other great stuff in okinawa why why just brown sugar none of these are particularly appealing to me except for those brown sugar lattes I'm mm-hmm. into that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But these like yeah. tanned balls, I don't really get like No. That they just look really dry. The baguette, the brown sugar baguette with the milk mm-hmm. cream. Mm-hmm. I don't even know what to think about <laughs> that. It's got like this tube of it looks like string cheese in the middle of it. Yes. I guess that's the milk <laughs> cream. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But anyway, uh, yeah, kind of a weird theme. For us yeah. Mm-hmm. I agree. And, you know, it's a shame because, like you said, there's so many cool things in Okinawa. As we did, I think, last year, and we, we set, uh, Family Mart actually has a, a whole separate website yeah. for Okinawa Family Mart, which just has like a ton of like really awesome things from Okinawa. Cool yeah. Yeah. Taco rice, you know, they're like, oh, hey, taco rice. Taco rice. Yes. Taco rice. spam you know there's a lot of fun things going on in okinawa i have to say i'm not the biggest brown sugar fan to be honest and i and i kind of wonder are there like brown sugar fanatics out there do you like i don't really know how this works i don't think so okay i don't really understand honestly i'll be honest here what's the difference between brown sugar and regular sugar i don't know it's a little and then there's bitter. dark brown sugar and there's light brown sugar. Hmm. Isn't it all just sugar? I don't know. If any of our listeners are brown sugar fanatics, you know, get back to us. And this is for you. This is for you all. Hey, those brown sugar maniacs out there, get to 7 Eleven. I mean, this is everything. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Anything you could imagine. Dream I mean, come is, uh, true here. Dream come true sure. with some brown sugar <laughs> i do have to say matt seven you know what's again. weird what's the that? only place this campaign is not running Where's is that? okinawa because <laughs> they get you run out of shit? town they probably get run out of town what, you... what is this i don't know man i i will say okay um and what is this guy doing what is this let's, let's see yeah, what the here. fuck is that what is that? That's a flower-faced <laughs> person yes, in a mini skirt. Pink With ranger tights. here. Yeah, I, I don't know. What um, the fuck is that? Oh, there's apparently a CM commercial going on right now. We'll have to check that out. But I have to say one last thing. I'll just say 7-Eleven. We always make fun of their website but um as yeah. with the kyushu campaign this is great nice yeah. sort of little animations with the flowers going you I know agree. winking at you um so you know an, an unfortunate range of items but um i'm here for it if they if they want to keep going around the country picking up you know different areas of japan yeah keep going right. yeah let's keep get going. the shikoku campaign next i want to see what that looks like yeah the shikoku yeah maybe it's just like Raw pine chicken. Trees. <laughs> Raw chicken and pine trees. Raw chicken and pine trees. All right, man. Well, um, okay, so that's that's sort of our, our featured uh, uh, featured campaign of the day. But, Matt, we're going to jump right into the Chicky Wars. And this week, we only have one new item. Um, but it's, a, I'd say, pretty exciting one. Um, yes. Let's take a look at this. Matt, Tini Tojo, finally. It's here, the new experience, Karaage Kun Takbari. That's tons of tartu tartu sauce. So this is Karaage Kun, oh boy, tartu tartu sauce. Matt, what do you think about this one? Mike, this is, I think this is very exciting. This is, 
you know, we, we've been following this for over a year now, but mm-hmm. Lawson has managed to uh, develop technology that allows them to inject flavor mm-hmm. underneath the skin yes. of a karaage kun chicken nugget. And mm-hmm. Mike, they're really testing the limits of how yeah. much sauce in this case tartar Mm -hmm. sauce they can pump under that skin this Mm -hmm. thing is bursting you know this thing looks like a like a busty lady you know just uh barely hanging in the old blouse there or uh you know a big old fat fat boy who's Uh (laughs) who hasn't bought new pants since gaining 80 pounds, you know, just that guts hanging right over that belt there, you know, Mm. trousers are riding extra low, you know, but, um, yeah, really impressive. Yeah. We got some feedback on Twitter. Some people a little bit, you know, Hey, tartar sauce, that doesn't go with chicken that goes with fish. Mm. Um, maybe Mm. not, not really. It's tasty. Yeah. Yeah. Expand your mind, everybody. Um, but no, I'm excited yeah. about this. I, I love that uh, Lawson continues to explore this this new technology of theirs. I agree. And um, I was looking at this and I found a kind of interesting sort of statistic here. So yeah, this is, as, as we were saying, the top pooty. I mean, it's just filled to the brim and there's no doubt that it is. It says it's got 1.4 times the tartar tartar sauce of the sort of up until oh, now. So I don't, but I, I, I think this is the first time we've seen them use tartar sauce in this, um, in this, with this new technology of the injected sauce. So I don't exactly know what they're comparing it to. Maybe like if they were just doing it normally, this is them really like, this is what, this is, we're really, really pumping it in there sort of thing. I, I don't actually understand. 40% more. That's a lot. That is a lot. Because, like, I guess if you're thinking the other sort of combos that we've seen with this, we've seen ketchup and uh, ketchup and mayonnaise, I think. We saw um, yuzu some kosho. Yuzu kosho. Saw some ume. Ume, that's right. Um, and I have to say the, the yuzu kosho and the other ones, they had that perfect size. It was, it was the great yeah. little, like, garnish. So... I hope they haven't overdone it because I do love tartar tartar sauce, but like you need a, a good balance, you know, you don't want a mouthful of tartar tartar sauce. Only one way to find out. There is only one way to find out. Yeah. All right, Matt. Well, um, that's all we've got for the chicken wars this week. Unfortunately, a little bit slow, but I'm sure they'll pick up here again soon. All right. That takes us to the scoreboard, Mike, new item scoreboard. Here are the numbers for new items. <laughs> At the convenience mm-hmm. this week. Family Mart, 59 new items. Lawson, 39, 7-Eleven, 124, Mini Stop, 23, Daily Yamazaki, 12, Seiko Mart, 7, New Days, 20. Your thoughts mm-hmm. on those numbers, Mike? Hey, man. Nothing really too out of the ordinary. I do like to see Daily Yamazaki, 12 items. Seiko Mart, 7 items. These are a little bit higher than we're used to seeing, so I like to see that. Um Mini stop 23, you know, just about, you know, where they normally are. Um, but in general, I think a pretty fair across the board. All right. Well, let's take a look at our winners and losers. This is where we uh, mm-hmm. offer up the items that caught our attention. Let's take a start off with your loser this week, Mike. What do we got? Mm-hmm. Oh, you're going to need to help me out here. Yep. It's the right there, top right. If you can just kind of zoom <laughs> up in there. Oh, boy. We are at... This looks like a squat toilet. <laughs> Used to squat toilet. All right, Matt. We're at Daily Yamazaki. I hate to do it to him because we love Daily Yamazaki, but their website is just just truly awful. And Matt, this is a sad sight to see. This is um all right. First off, this is a this is part of the the spring bread festival. Um, this this item oh, here. I missed that. Um so this is the best selection, mochi mochi shita, tuna and cheddar cheese pan. So this is tuna and cheddar cheese on bread. And I have to say, if this was like a, 
like an open sandwich, maybe toasted or something like that. Hey, that, that might change my feeling on this a little bit, but there's no doubt this thing's just sitting on the shelf, packaged in some plastic. The bread looks just so flat and sad. I mean, it's, there's just, oh man, it's just a real sad state of affairs. It's like if a, a hot dog bun got like deflated or something like that. And then oh you just got God. this. Yes this cheese inside there just kind of just squirted in the middle there and then that tuna is just just all over the place um they called it a tuna filling so who knows what that is and um the cheddar cheese sauce again these sauce. filling and sauce these are already <laughs> sort of you know per, you know terms that it produced skepticism um so I don't know, Matt. It is a mush, mushy pan, so you know I'm sure you like that at least. But um, I don't know. Total loser for me. What, what what do you think about this thing? This looks disgusting, and you you're picking up on the right terms there, Mike. Filling, sauce. These are not real things. <laughs> and I'm telling you, I you know we'll post this. I know I said I'd get off to where I will post. This does look like a like a squat toilet after a long day of hard use. I mean, it, it is, it is just a uh, cesspool of um, cheddar cheese sauce. And yeah, tuna, what is that? Tuna is all over the place. There's, there was no, the place. there's no aim when they were throwing that tuna down wow. on that bread there. They were just spraying it. Mm -hmm. All right. I got to stop looking at this. All right. All right. Yeah. On to my loser this week, Mike. Mine comes from Mini Stop. Hmm. I'm kind of having second thoughts about this as I look mm -hmm. at it. I'm getting kind of hungry, actually. Uh, yeah, I don't know what I was thinking here. It's a hot dog, Mike. <laughs> and <laughs> I don't know why I picked this. This is really good. It's got like a salsa on it, which I'm kind of yeah. digging. It's got... Uh, <laughs> it's got... Looks like a lot of onions. Mm -hmm. Top pretty tamanegito topping. Uh, what does that say? Pickles. Oh, pickles. Oh, oh my God! I am so into this hot dog right now. <laughs> this is a, this is a relish and onion hot dog. That was my go-to dog at Coney Island in Worcester, growing up. I'd get the relish and onion dog. I made a big mistake here, Mike. I officially. Yeah. Uh, this is my first time. I've yeah, I brought a winner to the losers table by accident. I I am sorry. This is a great product. No, Matt. I fair enough. You know, I think we all have our days where we you know, sort of like, don't exactly see the full picture what we're looking at. I've had it in my mind before, and I totally understand. I I agree with the with the pullback on this. I it does look pretty good. It looks like we got some pickles there, some relish. Um, I don't know what that green sort of flake is there yeah, think, on the top I think maybe there. Maybe that's what got me. I think it's maybe parsley. Is that parsley? Yeah, yeah it seems it to be something like that. Um, I'm not sure. Um, but in general, you know, we've seen some good dogs in our days. Um, the goo dog, you know, of course, coming coming to mind. But um, Ooh, yeah, Matt, <laughs> I, um, you know, I, I, I think our viewers are lucky today because they get I wouldn't say three winners, but you know, hey, I'd say this looks uh looks it's looks pretty good. It's a relish yeah. onion hot dog. Just yeah. a little back to back here. <laughs> got the <laughs> deflated <laughs> daily Yamazaki. Oh my! Mm. Squat toilet. <laughs> and you got the hot hey. dog. Okay. All right. All right. On to our winners, Mike. Oh, mm -hmm. I'm reading the tab. I can't believe you picked this. Okay. Oh really? Oh, damn. Oh, I thought you picked something different. Holy damn moly. Woo. Yeah, Matt. Um, let me describe what mm. we're looking at. What we're looking at Good for God, our viewers. They know exactly what we're looking at. But um, <laughs> let me just go ahead and describe it. Sausage egg cheese muffin out of Family yes. Mart, Matt. Yes. Um, so it's um, Matt, we're looking at an egg McMuffin right here. Um, <laughs> sure are. This is an English muffin style roll. We've got the ham, we've got the cheese, we've got the egg, and then we've got some bonus ham up there as well. Just because you got bonus ham. Yeah, it's easy to miss that. Matt, I love 
breakfast food. You know, you and I, whenever we get together, go in and get in some McDonald's breakfast or just breakfast in general. One of the great joys. Um, I've actually thought about in my my dream life when I would open up just a breakfast only restaurant here in Japan and just make pancakes. It's oh, a great idea. Hash potatoes, you know. Yeah, I mean, just man. And I have to say, the kombini does it all. You know, there are very few things they don't do well, which we've talked about, like burgers, for burgers. example. But there, there's not like a strong in there's not like a strong Western style breakfast at the kombini. You know what I mean? Like you don't go to the kombini and get like a get like a get a breakfast sandwich, for example. That's true. Um, you're getting more like Jap of course Japanese style all day any you know onigiri yeah. or something like that for breakfast so i like this i hope that maybe they can keep good and i and i i will also say i doubt that they're marketing this as as like a breakfast sandwich this is just like a hey this is a good little muffin we got here mm -hmm. but i hope that they do because i would love to see some more western style breakfast mm -hmm. entries into the kombini uh you know product line um so yeah i was really excited to see this wait a second pepper mayo yeah oh, oh wait a second all right well i'm into all it. right yeah i'm, I'm into, into it, it but i i didn't see that um okay so i anyways yeah my winner of the week but now i'm starting to feel a little nervous what what do you what are your thoughts on this this looks amazing and i'm into the pepper mayonnaise i think the pepper mayonnaise would be really good on this as a nice mm -hmm. little you never get sauce on a breakfast sandwich. Why not put some sauce on a breakfast sandwich? How come nobody's doing that? That's true. I think pepper mayonnaise sounds really good for you. Get a little kick from the pepper, a little richness from the mayonnaise. Yeah, you're right, actually. Yeah. yeah. Nobody's putting sauce. Well, I guess some people are putting ketchup. No. In know. England, they have bacon buddies, and they put brown sauce on those. It's just, it's just like a. Uh, English muffin with two two rashes of lean bacon and then brown sauce. Oh no! I don't like England that. is still eating like it's World War Two, and the <laughs> the the German air force is flying overhead, terrorizing the local population. All right, let's move on. My winner okay. this week, Mike. Yeah, okay, Otto Lawson. Mm -hmm. It's oh, a Kirby uh, Wagashi, Mike. Oh Kirby is turning God. 30. The Nintendo, famous Nintendo character, Kirby. The pink little puffball that sucks mm -hmm. things into its mouth, adopts its capabilities, and can fly high and long. Mm -hmm. This adorable, it, it makes for a perfect Wagashi sweet because it's just a, it's a round little guy. He's got some little feet and a little face and he comes with a with one of his yellow stars i hesitated on this oh. for a second like mike because my brother and i used to play the original smash brothers on nintendo oh. 64 for hours and hours and hours mm -hmm. and for about a year i'm not even kidding like probably mm -hmm. close to a thousand maybe over a thousand matches i lost mm -hmm. consecutively to my brother and he played one character that entire time, and it was Kirby. And he had a couple of killer moves. One oh. was this stupid sword slam that if he got me on the edge of a stage, you could not come back from. Mm -hmm. And the other was his, you know, Kirby could float forever. You think you've knocked this bitch out? You're Donkey Kong. You've charged up the punch to the max, knocked the shit out of this thing. He's at 108 on the meter. This motherfucker comes flying back, just chilling back to the stage. Hey, I'm Kirby, everybody. Nothing can knock me out. Literally lost. I, I swear, it must have been over a thousand matches in a row. Because my brother was Kirby. So I don't, I'm actually not a big Kirby fan. I sure. just thought this was a really cute, nice yeah. celebratory thing. And a reminder of all the amazing characters Nintendo has created. Kirby, I think, often gets lost because of the more famous, uh, you know, you got uh, Link from Zelda, you got Mario, you got Donkey Kong. But Kirby is up there in terms of one of the great legendary Nintendo characters. Yeah, no, I, I agree. What a, what a cute, cute 
fun item um, out of Lawson. And hey, you know, let's let's give Lawson their round of applause. You know, they they just they always do it so well. And I'd say premium price, but hey, this is a licensed item right here. I mean, this is you know this is a collaborative item yeah, here. Just getting their beak wet there. Yeah. Oh yeah, you better believe it. I bet that's a 70-30 split right there. <laughs> Nintendo 70. Um, <laughs> 353 yen. The number is also kind of weird, which makes you think there's some negotiating. Just, <laughs> but I have to say, what a what a fun item. Um, this is just one of those that you see see at the convenience. You just you just got to pick it up um, because it's just so cool. Um, and I agree. Great great story and. You're exactly right. I think Kirby is often slightly overlooked because he's such, you know, but he's such a cute guy, he's such a like a, a nice guy. Unless you're fighting against him in, in Super Smash Super Brothers, Brothers. Yeah. yeah. But um, great item, Max. Unfair things you can do to somebody is play as Kirby in Smash Brothers. If you do that, reconsider your life choices. Yeah. Anyway, I'm all fired up because I'm full of. <laughs> conspiratorial thinking this morning all right mike it's time to move on to my yeah. favorite segment of the week and that's mm -hmm. at the gimba with mike the gimba of course the place where the action happens mike you're at the gimba in japan what do you got for us this week well matt um you know i gotta be honest um i haven't had as much time recently to just get out to convenient by myself and that's not a bad thing because as I've told you, like um, actually two times a week now, we uh, I go out to the Kambini with uh, Leo uh, after dinner. It's our sort yes. of, you know, bonding experience. Um, and we always go out and get an ice cream. He loves getting an ice cream. Um, and, uh, and actually he started to pick up that when we go, I also get my beer and my chicken. So now when, when I say like, <laughs> let's go to the Kambini, and I say, like, what are we going to get? He says, you know, the, the ice cream and the beer and the chicken. Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't know if this is a good, you know, if I'm being a good father here. I think probably, you know, it's fun. So I, 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 I don't hesitate so much. But, but Matt, I wanted to just um, yet again, for the, probably the third or fourth time, I wanted to show oh, you what he's excited about these can't days. can't do it enough. And it's the giant cone, Matt. It's been that way for three months now. <laughs> he loves the giant cone. and But there's a little bit of a progress, Matt. For the longest time, he was going for the classic. We're talking about the vanilla, the chocolate nut, the giant cone, the uh, wafer uh, cone. This um, is the equivalent would be the king cone here in America. King cone. Yeah, yeah, just an old drumstick. Um and <laughs> and Matt, but recently, and it was just all of a sudden, it was, you know, this week, he reached for the chocolate, Matt. Um, nice. And I got to say, I'm proud of him because we had been eating these, these vanilla ones for a long time. And the chocolate is a, um, you know, I also am a vanilla guy, but I do appreciate the chocolate every once in a while. Um, and so, yeah, I'm hoping that, you know, maybe next he'll go over for that choco and milk. But for now, we're on the chocolate giant cone. And um, yeah, so these days, mostly I've just been eating some giant cones. I don't know, Matt, were you were you a giant cone? I know you're a giant cone fan, Everybody, but what? Absolutely. Every, there's no one who's not. If you say I like ice cream, you can't not like a giant cone. I don't know. What, what was your flavor, your go to flavor? What's your any thoughts on the giant cone? <clears throat> i'm with leo you know i used to stick to the old classic the oh, yeah. Um, oh yeah you know just the vanilla with the chocolate uh crust and then the nuts on <sighs> top there mike um mm -hmm. you know i'm pleased to hear that his conveni apprenticeship is progressing he's beginning to select items new items that's great i am curious you know when do you think you're going to introduce him to the, to the, to the Hagen dazs luxury ice box? Is that more like 
adolescence or is that uh how many years before that happens yeah no has i don't he think... had has he had the hagen does crispy crispy no 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 <laughs> oh the crispy sando oh you're right i was just gonna say you know he he sort of veers right now towards the things he can hold in his hand so he doesn't like scooping out with the spoon but yeah you're talking about the crispy sand, aren't the crispy you? Crispy so... sand, there, yeah. You got to be careful though. It can be a little hard in the wallet. A giant cones probably saw him for a couple hundred yen less mm -hmm. than the crispy sando. It's a good point. I think it would have to. I'd have to like preface it, and we'd have to build up to it for like a week, being like, <laughs> "This is a special event." So maybe on his birthday, <laughs> maybe you know, New Year's Eve. Ooh. And maybe Oban. Maybe those, I think those are the only real times that we could do it. But you're exactly right. Some At some point, I'm going to introduce, it to, introduce him to it. I think I'm going to hold off a little bit longer, though. Like you said. No, it's good. You know, Giant Cone's better for kids because the packaging is, it, it appeals to children. They have yeah. nice, beautiful colors, really pops. The Hagen Dazs, it's just the standard Hagen Dazs box. It's not so fun. So yeah. I, I like sticking with the giant cone. All right. All right. Well, um, yeah, wow. I'll, I'll keep another you up to date. Episode. Yeah, another episode. In the can. That's 85, Mike. 85 episodes on the Kenbini. A big thanks to everybody who has purchased a chicky to help us keep this running. I do mm -hmm. declare this on my taxes, by the way. So uh, if anybody had questions about that. <laughs> Carrie G. St. Michelle, 20 chickies. Oh my goodness. M.H. Bongo, thank you so much. 15 chickies. Professor mm. H. 6. Matt D. 3. Antonio 8. 3 chickies. Crew Japan 2. Devon Pine, 1 chickie. Bobby Judo, 1. And Anonymous, 1 chickie. If you want to support the podcast, head over to buymeacoffee.com slash convenient boys. Also, Wait, I actually rate. think, Matt, I think we missed, an, and now I just thought about it. I, we had another anonymous. Oh, we did. Great info, great laughs, three chickies. We don't know wow. who you are. Anonymous number two, thank you so much. Thank you. Wow. Yeah. I did not get notified about that. It's fantastic. Yep. Um, please Sorry. share, rate the podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify. Uh, you can see all the hot action on YouTube. Subscribe and like. And, uh, you can check us out on Twitter, but I don't know how much we're going to be posting there for the next few weeks because it's a uh, cesspool and <laughs> detrimental to your mental health. That's it, everybody. <laughs> hey, Mike, I'll see you at the Conbini. See you at the Conbini, Matt. Conbini boys, to the Conbini boys, to the Conbini, to the Conbini, to the Conbini, to the